Hello everyone and welcome to Top 5 Wrestling Animations of the Week Year End Awards episode. So we're going to jump straight in with the last Top 5 of the year. Number 5 we have Stake the Guy with his rolling German suplex. This was really smooth but extremely stiff. I thought it had great flow and it could have used more of a reaction but a great job overall. Number 4 we have ARW with his drop kick. I thought this had nice movements, uh, it was a bit fidgety, there wasn't much reaction once again, uh, the hop before the jump looked really good though, uh, one of your best definitely, nice work. Number 3 we have Stake the Guy again with his AA, so this was really smooth, uh, it had a really nice impact on it, I thought it was a little bit too fast, uh, but great work overall. Number 2 we have BWG with his pedigree, I thought this was amazing, uh, much better than recent weeks for you, uh, it seems like a lot more time was taken, it was nice and smooth, it had good joint movements, uh, the only issue with it was the choppiness and the reaction in my opinion. Number 1 this week we have JWS with his Hardcore Rumble Part 2, so this was smooth as always, uh, quite stiff in a lot of places. I love the cells on all the moves though. Uh, a few moments were more choppy than usual, but it was still great as always. Uh, I also love the ring break. So taking a look at the final top 5 leaderboard, number 5 we have unstable animation with 32 points, number 4 we have ARW stop motion with 41 points, taking the bronze this year is JWS owner with 45 points, silver is BWG with 59 points, and gold, as expected for quite a while now, is Suplex Network with 72 points. So of course that makes our animator of the year, Suplex Network, well done to him. Next we go on to animation of the year. Now there has been a lot of amazing animations this year. Uh, so this was really tough to choose, but the one I settled on was JWS's Ronda Rousey versus Brock Lesnar. I just, I love this match. I thought the scripting of it was great. Obviously it was smooth as hell. The joint movements and everything was amazing, uh, just in my opinion the best animation all year. On to the hardcore animation of the year. Again this was really tough to choose but I did settle on JWS's Hardcore Rumble Part 1. Again, as I always say for JWS, just smooth as hell, great joint movements, just fantastic as always. And for me, the most improved of this year is LMS. I thought at the start of the year he was very good, but uh, a lot of his animations were very slow and had some weird cuts. But I think over the year he's just cut those out completely and he's improved hugely. And I can definitely see that here. So well done to him. So that does it for this video and for this year, guys. Uh, I don't know if... I'm going to be here next year <laughs> with the whole Copa thing and I feel like animators might be affected quite badly with it so just got to wait and see uh, hopefully I will be hopefully I can keep doing this next year and we can see who 2020's animator of the year will be thank you very much for watching bye bye